I'm Julia Naklii, and this is a quick video on what happens when Uranus transits your seventh house of marriage. Uh, basically, when Uranus transits your seventh house of marriage, if you're married, you get divorced. Um, either you could start pulling away from your spouse, or they could start um, pulling away from you and needing more distance. Um, best case scenario, you don't get divorced, and one of you just has an affair, probably with someone really weird or dwarf, or potentially someone who's in a totally different age range, um, like 20 or so years younger, that sort of thing. Um, or um, one spouse could just pull away and completely start uh, looking at porn and ignoring you. Um, but basically Uranus, <laughs> the planet Uranus creates distance and, um, and also removes emotion and replaces a desire for emotional depth with an attraction to novelty and stimulation and weird things. So, um, if you want any hope of saving your marriage when this transit happens, your, your best, your best chance is to try to incorporate that energy into your life in another way. Like, um, make a bunch of friends, make a bunch of really weird friends. And so then you can be getting that social novelty that Uranus is wanting without needing to um, ditch your spouse. Um, another another problem can be that the seventh house, um, the house of marriage, is a house of projection where we project stuff onto our partner. So if you understand that you're having this transit, you'll be less likely to project negative things onto them to give you the excuse to withdraw and um, ditch them basically. And you can instead realize that you're having a, um, a, tran a transit that's causing you to desire novelty and there's not really anything wrong with the person you are uh, married to. You just need a chance to um, experience superficial novel things to um, stimulate your brain because it's really more about like brain stimulation than it is about forming deep connections. Um, and if you're already single when this transit takes place then it won't really be so traumatic. Um, it might be just a series of weird short-lived relationships with maybe with people who are like really different from you in terms of age or background, um, or you could become gay um, or lesbian. Um, and if you already are single and gay, then you probably won't even notice the transit at all. It's really most traumatic if you're married. But um, so if you're married, I would just say, don't blame your partner for what you're feeling. They're not boring. You're just having a thing and uh, find healthy ways to Add simula Sorry, that's my dog. <laughs> Find healthy ways to add simulation to your life that doesn't necessarily require ditching them unless you want to. Um, and the worst is really if you're married and your partner has this because they will um, find reasons to distance themselves from you um, or divorce you. Um, and in that case, if it's their transit, there's really not much you can do about it. Um, yeah. So that's uh, Uranus transiting your seventh house of marriage. Thanks. I'm Julian Ackley.